people I'm back with some results. So whole cavity down there completely full of coolant. So I'm not sure if you can see it might be too bright. But anyway that's the EGR cooler adapter or sorry oil cooler. So that's the oil cooler right there. So bear with me. Bear with me. Alright this is the adapter I guess you can call it. So the uh, it sits like this in the engine. I'll show you. <clears throat> so it sits like this in the engine. Oil cooler goes on right here. This is the little. Uh, did I even take it off? I think I took it off. Yeah. So this is the selector. I guess you can call it a uh, coolant shutoff valve. So this is the. One of the culprits, I believe. You can see right in there. Right in there, coolant. It looks like it's like started there. It's hard to show. Started there and then just kept building up and building up. How this works is it's a little vacuum actuator. Moves this arm, closes that. So I'm gonna show that real quick by sucking on it. So I'm assuming somewhere in there on this side where the arm is that leaked so I have a new one of those I just need the hoses this piece I broke well everybody breaks apparently so thankfully there's a part number on here so as you can see I broke that piece taking the EGR cooler off so I'm going to have to order one of these. I believe that's pretty much all I need. Um, intake manifold gaskets or seals, whatever you want to call them, are good. So I have that. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I just need that because I have... So, alright, let's go back. Okay, so that valve that I just showed you sits over here. Sits there opens and closes to allow different sides of the head I guess to get in coolant so if it's open it cools both if it's closed it does whatever it does I got a whole video on how they 3d CAD made it a whole crazy weird thing but anyway so this is the oil cooler seal so I have this seal here and then I think this is probably the bigger of the culprit down here. So as you can see, we got oil cooler. See oil passages because I have oil in there too. So I think what happened was that the coolant had leaked through that valve, which in turn caused this seal to be eaten up. As you can see, and I'm assuming somebody put water in it, like regular water, because it's rust, because it's an iron block. So it's iron block, comes in here, erodes this, turns it to whatever. So I have this seal. I have that seal, I believe. I should have that seal. And uh, yeah, that's all the nasty, gross stuff I've been pumping out of the engine. Pretty gross stuff. Um, so this here is not for my car, for my car, so they accidentally messed up correctly, so they messed up, messed up. So this is the gasket that goes, or seal that goes right there, As you can see, triangle-ish thing, so basically goes like that. I have that seal. I don't know if I should call them. I kind of want to call them to see if I can get something else, but I don't really know the part number, so I'm going to have to do some research and digging. And then we have 
this seal, which that piece goes over there, then it spins, those two go there, and that piece goes there. So I have that. I have, oh, hold on here. Okay, so this O-ring goes in there. That O-ring, I believe, goes there. This O-ring is for this, but if you watched the previous video, uh, it came with it already installed. So it's already installed on it. So, yep. So this goes, sits like that. Blah, 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 blee, blee, blee. So I just gotta get that plastic piece. The plastic piece that I broke. And uh, I checked. So they say, let me grab a flashlight. They say that sometimes this, right here, this plastic piece, it's hard to show, but that where the brightest light is on, that piece breaks. But I don't see anything broken. And the problem with those is you gotta undo this whole front timing cover, I guess. Um, this water, I guess it's a water pump case cover. So if I have to do that, if it continues, if it does leak, which I don't think it is, I think it's all the other bigger problems. If it does, the good thing is, is I can pull all those bolts off, water pump, everything comes right off. And it presses into into there so kind of like the piece I broke so anyway um, I'm just gonna clean up parts clean everything I gotta clean this intake plenum stuff so uh, what I'm going to use is I think it's the same thing for our pellet stove see if this will fit in there if not I'm gonna try to find another bristle brush that's round and try to stick it in there so anyway I'm gonna clean all that and then once I get that part we'll go ahead and button her all back up but yeah it's gonna be down for probably a week but whatever gotta pay to play I, I also picked up or ordered a bunch of stuff from uh, I can't even think of the name anymore, but I think I have a receipt over here. Um, from them. Oh, I ordered the tranny. No, I didn't order the tranny fluid. I ordered a uh, gear oil from them. So I ordered the liquid molly because they're they're dirt cheap. So this stuff here. Everywhere else, I was looking for it. Couldn't find it for under twenty seven bucks. eBay, Amazon wanted. eBay wanted twenty seven. Amazon wants. I think like 32 whatever these bottles right here these are anti-friction for gears which I'm thinking about putting some in my truck my Ram um, so put some of this in the Ram maybe I'm trying to see if I can put it in the transfer case um, because it's chain drive and gears but this is for gears so I'm trying to see I'm texting my brother to see if uh, what he thinks let me know what you guys think. Can I put this in the transfer case? Not for the Audi, for my truck. It's gear driven, gear and chain driven. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I ordered that from them. So I just started to order some more stuff from them because they shipped it really fast. Um, some air cleaner stuff. It was like three bucks for this stuff. It was like seven or eight bucks. Super diesel additive. Um, but anyway, add to diesel fuel, whatever, whatever. I bought some of this DPF stuff, diesel particulate filter. Um, it's supposed to, uh, uh, heat up the carbon and make it burn out faster. And then, uh, after I do all this junk and clean everything, I'll probably do an engine flush. So, I think these were like nine bucks, nine bucks, seven bucks, something like that. Um, and then I bought oh, coolant. I think it's like 24 bucks for this coolant. Everywhere else I can't find it for under like 40 bucks, like 43 dollars. 
and then of course some more oil. I use Motul 8100 X Clean C3. This is the uh, 0 50700, which is what this car recommends. Anyway, I'm gonna take this all off and uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. You guys want to free up some power, right, guys. See you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. Thank you for subscribing. Do what you guys do. All right, later.